those standing. I prophesy over your lives. In 2021, nobody will dare deny you a visa. Because you are already international. And those of you who sat, all those villages, I release you there. Amen. Amen. Wow, can I can I take you guys out today? Can I take you out today? I know Willam, Willam, Willam. I know a corner around Triblo. You know, uh, 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 so can I take you out today? Okay, those who said yeah, see me after service. Those who didn't respond because I said Triblo. I was just going, only mentioning Triblo because that's where you can find transport to where I was taking you. Because I said I would take you out. Now who got the praise? We got the praise. Now who will get the praise of? Jesus. Now who got the praise? We got the praise. Now who will get the praise of? Jesus. Who got the price now? We got the price now. Who we get the price to? Jesus. Say, who got the price now? We got the price now. Who we get the price to? Jesus. Say, I love it when you call him your savior. Huh, 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 huh. I love it when you call him your savior. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Put your hands together for Wow. Are you clapping or are you doing something like you're clapping? They rock these days, so should I add you to them as I take them out? Is he? And I'll go to you. Who will supply the thing? And your point was semi trauma show. Fear not. Put your hands together and say, Lord, I thank you. I can't feel you. Say, Lord, all thanks to you. My darling, I think you, you've not checked yet. We are in December. Today is 25th. You, you, you've not, you, you don't know what I am talking about. Because somewhere second week of April, you are even scared of your own friend. For the fear of COVID-19. Have you said thank you so welcome me free ma kume me shanta aya asasami dawasi oda sanu nyuma sanu nyuma aya me mama that somewhere April looking at where you are now, if you were told in April that you will be where you are now, do you know you wouldn't have believed it? Yeah. Sometimes when God is doing it, you don't see it but he keeps giving you life because the, 
miracle, the manifestation is awaiting your arrival. Have you said thank you? Yes, it was not rosy. You didn't get what you prayed for. But honey, you can't tell me you were better then than now. The journey has been rough and tough. Ups and downs. He's been wonderful unto you. She died. Do I have a witness here this morning? Do I have a witness here? To be promoted in COVID season. Have you thought of it, sir? To be made ha, manager of exports in COVID season. Ha, when they didn't believe you could walk and you are walking. When they thought you would lose it but you still got it. When you yourself, you didn't believe in yourself. Yet, Huh. Some of you fell sick along the line and you thought it was COVID. Maybe you don't know, but I'm talking about myself. I saw death. She died. Do I have a believer here? Give him thanks. She Lift your right hand and sing with me now. Yeah, hey. Uh, 
Somebody should be rolling here. Somebody should be running up and down. Somebody should be clapping like madness. Somebody should be screaming because the Lord has been good. If, if Jesus were to be a parcel to be presented to you this morning, what would you have given to the dispatch rider? If Jesus were to be a parcel packaged to be delivered unto you, what would be the tip you will give to the dispatch rider? Knowing his worth, and the dispatch rider did not take it away. Knowing very well he will get less than what he is bringing you, yet he brought the parcel called Jesus to you. What would have been the tip? What gratitude will you show? Take an envelope, write down whatever the Lord lays on your heart. Put it in it and just come drop it. Just let it be in an envelope. Whether you are here, wherever, take an envelope. Whatever your heart tells you, just put it in and come drop it. Just remember when you wanted to give up. Oh, yeah, mommy. Last night, yeah, drop it on the altar here. Last night, I told you that gratitude is a blank check. Gratitude. 
There's a check with your name on it, but the amount is not written, giving you to write any amount you want. That is the power of gratitude. Auntie Susan, after saying this, see me before you. Yeah, me, yeah. Oh, yeah, mommy. SME, SME, Bella. My dear, how are you? How have you been? SME, SME, Dana. SME, SME, Yina. Yina, Yada. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I went to bed at exactly 1.15. And that by three, in fact, it is I went to bed, but the eyes couldn't close. I, I was rewinding the tape from 1st January to now. And I'm like, did you do all that? Gratitude is an attitude for altitude. Can I say it again? Write it down. Gratitude is an attitude for altitude. People who are constantly grateful are constantly lifted up. People without gratitude are called ingrate. They, 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 which means they don't deserve to be helped. Ingratitude qualifies you not to be helped. Now we are and as I went through the year, how many of you remember when uh, the ban was lifted and we came to do virtual service, not church service, but virtual so that we can do the Facebook service here? How many of you remember that day? How many of you remember what happened? Strangely, at the end of the day, the Lord intervened. Something that killed others didn't kill us. Have, Have you said thank you? So How many of you felt you, you, you didn't believe you would come this far, looking at the scare of COVID and the nature of your work? I'm not waiting to tell you this on 31st because of the message I'm coming to share with you. His birth heralded our illumination. His birth brought us light. His birth opened our eyes to things we deserved but we were not getting. Now, his birth. But I want to talk to you this morning about the mystery of three. It was Joseph and Mary. Maria and Joseph. But at his birth, they became three. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Joseph, Maria, and Jesus. JMJ. Jesus. Then three wise men. Uh, there is something about the birth of Christ that I have been praying for God to help me get the right way of making you understand. First, if the angel had not visited Joseph, will he have kept Mary? Second, if Mary had given birth to a girl, Will Joseph have believed in the angel? 
ye to so nyenu se se maria e wo wo ba anka yosef wo be ko so age de o for the kind idea na god are ye and table it that it can't be changed it cannot be manipulated it, you, you cannot now watch it somebody should read john 3:16 for me john 3:16 chemo dunsia in fact john 3:16 tell us much and better about the birth of christ than the matthew chapter 2 there where you talk about it but john 3:16 is like an information we are being informed of something that cannot be stopped read it for me john start from the 15 john chapter 3 verses 15 and 16 and 16 let's Good. hear the word of god that whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. should not perish wait whosoever what believes in him in who in god believes in who no. Believes in that which you were being informed about. That's the son. So, but you no idea. Whosoever believes in the son will not perish. And today, that son was birthed. And then, well, I don't think you're getting what I'm saying. So, the day he was born, the word perish was erased unto them that will believe. From the day you believed in the birth and that which was born, you ceased to be a perishable good. You are not getting So even when they open it and they leave it, you will still not, Jesus, you are not getting it. Jesus. When they took it with a nail, you still will not. When they put it in a freezer, you still will not perish. When they take it out and put it on fire, you still, why? Because you believe. And I'm so to me to me and you're I don't think I have been praying for the past four years for God to give me the kind of words that will make you understand this presentation. He said, That's they that believe. So, so. You are perishing because you don't believe. You can be an unbelieving Christian. Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> and we have a lot of them in the church. A believing Christian is not petty. A believing Christian does not doubt because belief itself negates the effect of doubt. A believing Christian, because you know you won't perish, you don't fear. A believing Christian is takashiciously brave. Today, marks 2020 years, that word, not perish, was stamped on those who believe, not those who claim to believe, not those who think they believe, but to them that live because they believe, should not perish, but what? But have eternal life. Now go to the next 16. Verse 16. Now hear this one so much. For God so loved the world. Now, the 15 just said, if you believe, you will not perish, but you will have everlasting life. Then the 16 comes to give you a verb. I call love the most powerful verb to be found on earth. Read the 16. the 16. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son. Now wait a minute. The book of James says God is love. Johannes said, So what did God give? For God so loved the world that he gave. Oh, oh. Who is getting what I'm saying? For God so loved the world that he gave to who? It's a lie. He didn't say for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to the world. No. But he gave his son to those. So, the belief makes it selective by choice. 
Love is not a fool. But love is selfless. Yes, we But our still. To form a man. It does not make him a fool. It makes him loving. A man here or do. And just or don't tell you or don't tell you. Now so what? Oh, what? Oh, na. Genus you mo beni a henu mo. She a a a a for leisure. The one no no feel a a new he. She try fire she a care. Because oh, I don't think you are getting what I'm saying. All they did to him, he felt it. Yet, for the love. Can I ask you a question? If you were the mother of Jesus, how will you be feeling by now, having given birth to Jesus? Fresh baby. Yesterday, the choir, they, they blew my mind. Charlie, with some skills and some exchanges and some, wow. You, you guys, I'll take you out today, okay? I'll take you out. Okay, some of you looking at your faces, I think I will take you to Bukum. Others will go to Jamestown. Others will also go to CK. Alias Choko. And some of you will also go to I'm thinking Now, Mrs. Granting Asante, come. The birth of Christ. Yes, you are. Woke. Bring me the clothes you used to cover people. Bring me all. I saw Joshua holding a lot. Where is he? Bring all to me, Joshua. Bring them to me. Now, now me just go on your knees. Cover her from the neck. Down and make sure we don't see the dress she's wearing. Hmm. I want you to watch. These days I preach mostly with illustrations. So even when you forget the message and you go home, you remember the illustration, you remember the message. Cover her so well. Christmas, the birth of Christ. Yes, you have this is why he had to be born. So watch carefully. Can we see anything she's wearing? No. This one is showing. Even the earring. Now, can you take off the earring, please? Reverend Granting, don't worry. She's safe. Please watch carefully. I like your curiosity. You're like, where is this man driving to? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever whomsoever including those you hate the reason why it happens that the more you hate somebody the better the person becomes is the person does not believe in your hatred. The person believes in the God who will make him or her unperishable. Now, whomsoever believe, there may be a thousand like this. The way you are dressed determines how your facial expression will look. Then he says, I am going down there to tell them what I can do for them. But I can't force them. As many that will believe, I'll bring them the transformation. Now watch it. When you accept Christ, listen to this carefully and begin to share it with your friends. When you accept Christ, you must walk to him before he can stay in you. When you accept Christ, the scripture and the teaching will show you where he is. 
Then when you and believe, sana, you walk to him. The way she looks is a perishable good. Am I right? There is nothing so it is perishable. Nobody would want perishable things. In fact, if the thing is already perished, would you want it? But when she accepted Christ, she started hearing, this is not you. You can have eternal life. What that means is, this is not the end. There is a better life. Then you begin to walk towards. Your hands are tired. But as you walk, the Bible then tells you the same person will let you know that no weapon that is fashioned as you walk towards him, maybe on your knees, you will be encouraged and then you begin to move your hands. As you move your hands, you will see how to untie this thing. Jesus. He will not untie it for you. Jesus. But as you untie, people who have been through that experience and they know how it feels, but by Christ they have been redeemed, their duty is now begin to help you because they can see that you are helping yourself Jesus. towards Jesus. him. Jesus. Now watch it. Where does the revelation begin? Your feet. Because you can't walk to Christ with your head. So your feet will begin to perpetually carry you to him. Then your friends will begin to say, ah, you these days, we don't see you at all. Always church, church, church. We are all church goers. So no. His birth has birthed you. His birth is about to reveal you because you believe. Now, one As she keeps the coming, the next day. is taken off. She is coming. For God so loved the world. Now, the next thing, when you see, you will go like, wow. Such a thing is not supposed to be on the knees. Jesus. Can I pray for somebody this morning? I really don't care how long you have been forced by society Jesus. to be on your knees. Jesus. May the birth of Christ cause you to rise and walk on your Jesus. feet. May your revelation shut their evil intentions. Jesus. Can I prophesy? I declare after the birth of Christ today, Jesus. you will appear for them to disappear. Amen. Now this is what happens. After your revelation comes manifestation. For God, so what it means is, this is how God loves the world. He reveals you. Am I reaching somebody this morning? I'm not here to preach rice and chicken. I'm not here to preach Ah. I am here to give you the essence, the meaning of his birth. The next thing Christ will do, remember, you are the lifter up of my and no, wait, wait. It's a process. You will try to get up. And sometimes you go back on your knees and they will be laughing at you. But so long as they couldn't stop his conception. Jesus carry him for nine months. Jesus. His birth Jesus. and his growth, Jesus. they cannot stop your conception. Jesus. They cannot stop your rising up. Jesus. It may look tough, Jesus. but it says, they that believe in him should not. So it may look like you are going back, Jesus. but the word says should not. Jesus. At the end of the day, Jesus. because you have never walked on your feet before, mm. when you get up, you wouldn't look like the normal people who have been there, but mm. honey, you are still lifted up. Jesus. His birth came. So hopeless people will be full of hope. He was born. So perishable human beings Jesus. will become unperishable. Jesus. If scientists are working hard so things will not perish, how much more the master scientist? Mm. He was born to change us. Well, we'll but some science. of us, I can't write how my status would have been 
my CV. If it had not been for his birth. Jesus. So when I thank him, I thank him because when I believed, he didn't let go of me. Now watch it. He says, should not perish. The perish does not only mean death. It does not also mean stable price or stable value. But will not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. So the next thing you see is that he will begin to beautify her. Where are the earrings? He will begin to beautify her. Jesus. Now the beautification is a process. The beautification so time so. brings you unbearable enemies. Jesus. But it is a sign for you to know that you are in your season of beautification. Jesus. Those who looked down on him, on her. Charlie, Naomi, we don't know what is going on with her. Jamaya be a deca bit no. The Jesus when you sugar daddy be when that sugar daddy, salt daddy ginger daddy, Jesus. pepper daddy, Jesus. whatever daddy. Jesus. All I know Jesus. is that she believed. Jesus. She believed in the Jesus. Messiah. And if you are watching, let today be your day to believe. Amen. Because all of us, once upon a time, believed. Hence who and where we are. Jesus. Just believe. You believe in the pilot. Which is who is not your family member nor your uncle to fly you to your destination. And when you encounter turbulence, you still believe that the pilot will take you through. A little problem in the church, you drop your belief. Are you telling me a human pilot is better than God? Ask your neighbor, what do you believe? And who do you believe? At the end of the day, the next thing you see after the beautification is walk together. So it's now by belief, everywhere I go, she goes. So, hey, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Jesus. No, you didn't get it. Jesus. These days, I don't see Naomi. Oh, don't worry. Look for Jesus. You'll find her. Jesus. Can I prophesy over somebody? From today, if they are looking for greatness, they will find you. Amen. If they are looking for favor, they will find you. Amen. If they are looking for the blessed, they will find you. Jesus. Any sickness that wiped away aged people and people in your family, mm. because you have believed in his birth, mm. you are exempted. Jesus. Get ready for your beautification. Jesus. Shout, I believe, three times. Bichidi. Two. Be Jimmy D. Louder. Be Jimmy D. Please be seated. Let me close with this final word. I thought I believed in something until I met this man called Jesus. The necessity or the need of his birth was so paramount because nothing comes out of nothing. It is a process. So he had to be conceived. He had to be carried. He had to be born. He had to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we are celebrating Christ because of life. Matthew, the chapter number two from the verse one. Oh, I'm serious. I'll make you guys fine after service, okay? It's a promise. So, after service, relax. Your, your, this thing is on the way. I'm a somersaultally catapulted and cataclysmically corrode and meaning you kata 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 nkwana kata nkwana kan ye Matthew the chapter number 2 from the verse 1 and we closing how many of you understood the illustration i gave you i can tell you an authority you are about to change jesus I say this with some deep conviction. Jesus. I say with the oil on my Jesus. head and the call upon my Jesus. life, you just got changed. Amen. Your enemy was served with dismissal. Jesus. Failure has just been served with dismissal. Jesus. From today, Jesus. as you believe, receive your change. Amen. Receive your change. Jesus. 
Receive your change. Jesus. Shout change. change. I believe that he can change my story. When I was living in a single leaky room close to a huge gutter where people can squat just a meter away from my room where the head of my bed is. They can squat there and defecate and I cannot say stop because even the building where it is positioned justifies defecation. When if I am lucky, I will have one meal a day. Remember, I didn't say square meal. Sometimes when I hear people talk about pastors, they talk because they don't know. So I don't fight ignorant people. Some of us, we are not preaching because we don't know what to do. I have lived a life of hunger, of rejection, of pain. Yet I claimed I was in a religion. But the birth of this man brought in a new lifestyle, which is a culture and a tradition. A lifestyle that is called love. A lifestyle that is called sharing. A lifestyle that he will give you what makes him him. So he will take away your shame. Take away. I am talking about Jesus. I have lived a life of having just one shoe for five years. It got to a time when you get behind my window, you will see heel. You know that thing they put behind the shoe to support it from erosion. It got to a point I healed my shoe, sir. The nail was reminding me time for total change. I've lived in times where I will have to walk from Agege to Novotel then because I cannot afford transportation from that place to Novotel from Novotel to Mamobi before I will walk to Bostal Institution so I have to manage I will walk from Mamprobi Agege 205 Semo Theater to be specific I will walk from there to Novotel then which is now what is the name of the new hotel there Accra City Accra City Hotel I will, that time there was a lorry station where they have built that Accra whatever Millennium whatever whatever there was a lorry station I will walk to, from Agege to that place before I can join Mamobi Trotro. And when I alight at Mamobi, I will have to walk Jeez. to Postal Institution. Jeez. After service, I will look for lift from offices before I can go home, knowing that I'm not coming home for food. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. It does it, yes. It does it. He didn't promise me millions. He promised me hope. He he revealed he is the light. He, 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 when you accept him, he shines your destination, not your destiny. He will shine your destination unto you. So you see where you are going, then he will hold your hand in your destiny. David said in Psalm 23, Jesus. Yea, though Jesus. I walk through the Jesus. valley Jesus. of the shadow of Jesus. death, Jesus. though I go through pain and difficulty, Jesus. I will fear no evil because Jesus. the light is with me. Jesus. If the light is with you, Jesus. no matter what you go through, you can still see your way. Tell your neighbor I will finish well. Are you afraid of your neighbor? Or you're, you're finishing? Look at your neighbor and confidently tell the person, I will finish well. If you don't like the way the person is telling you, just tell the person, keep your word. I will say it to myself. Say, I will finish well. Mention your name three times and say you will finish well. A lady came here yesterday. The last time she was here, we were down. Immediately she got to the entrance. She stopped. I was like, Papa, go 
God is here. And I said, are you telling me or you are reminding me? Me and you, who should tell who that God is here? That is what Christ does. His birth had to take place so you will know who you are. Stop being who they say you are. Be who you know you are. You don't need the approval of men to be belonging. Can I say it again? You don't need the approval of men to belong. You need God's approval for them to come. Least over. I have been there. I have been there. When I depended on people left overs. Do you know what I am talking about? When you know you are older than them and more intelligent than them, and you are the one they will send to go and buy the fried rice. When they finish, they will leave some small ah. chicken by the thigh bone, where mm. it's like a fist. Small one, and that is what they let for me, fine boy. Fine you boy. know why? Because my real status was still kept in the dark. Yeah. The light was not shining. So nobody could see. But My in fact, if the light hadn't come, some of you wouldn't have discovered you were fair. If the light hadn't come, you wouldn't have known that that color is beautiful. He had to come to establish your confidence. For with Christ, all things I remember that day and the way they pushed the rice. Small boy telling me who more left over. I should take your fried rice left over. My darling, may the Lord change your story. Jesus. After today, let your story be changed. Amen. They're laughing at you because you don't have a child. Can I tell you a story? You are not barren. The truth is that if you are to give birth now, nobody will help them carry their monkeys-like babies. Because the one you will have will be so beautiful and choppable. Hello. So God allowed the monkeys to take the lead. Listen, hey, there are some babies when you see them, though they are babies, you wouldn't want to carry them, confess. Mm. Even the mothers will say in their head, Oh, you are. Now you. I remember going to see a doctor friend of mine one time. She's a pediatrician. Uh, is, am I right? Yes. And I saw some mothers with their babies. And the first three, Jesus, their babies. The first two had boys. I remember that day. It was a Thursday. Okay. And I went to invite her to church. That time we used to do the Thursday service in the morning. And the first baby, a boy, Jesus, just like me when I was a baby. Jesus. What's your problem? Haven't you seen my, my picture when I was a baby before? Mm. Have you not seen it? Mm. Helen, have you not seen it? Now, you yourself, uh, uh, didn't you see it? Jesus. Well, confess, didn't you see it? How was it? Damn. Baby don't fight. I used to hang it in my office at the old place. I don't know where that picture is gone to. Everybody in my house, today when you get to bring everything out, take them back one by one until you find that picture. Nobody will sleep today. Nobody will chop Christmas today. Have I made myself clear? Jesus. Thank you. The baby looked like me. When I was just three months old. What a fine baby. And, and 
Nuni. She had boy in Beautiful baby. The next two. Beautiful baby <laughs> girls. <laughs> and even at that tender age, when you laugh and you see some oh tinky winky. Hey, hey. Hey, la, la, you see those things. Only for me to land on the fourth one. Jesus. They are just so nine idiot. What a face. And a baby. And a baby. And a baby. Yee, Coco. Jesus. And you can see that when the nurses are passing. Oh, wow. And they radiate. And then when they go to the. Hi, cutie. <laughs> When they get to the fourth, hey sister, what we had the radius, you will ban in your question. Jesus. Far be it from you. Amen. You are beautiful from inside Jesus. and outside. Jesus. By <laughs> oh. You can have a baby, and even when they cry, you don't feel like breastfeeding. Or be on your mosque. Because the baby doesn't look like the man you marry. But don't be angry. Go and check when he was a boy. A baby. Because some of you seated here, you have bent all pictures of yourselves when you were little children. Sophie. Thank God for wig. Thank God for color pencil and crayon. Where was I? <laughs> Some of you guys seated here looking diplomatic and whatever, whatever. Hey, I have some pictures. I'll bring it on Sunday. Jesus. Those posing with lion statues. Mm. Have you seen that picture? Oh, because of you, I will bring it on Sunday. Oh, Ashuga Yajatano. And if this is the head of the lion, they sit it like this. What a post lion. I will bring all those pictures for you to know if it had not for the Lord on my, on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? Look at your faces. Some of you, when you were little. Even if you made a mistake, your teacher won't call you because she's scared of your face. Ah. They will mark see. you correct we so you will carry your face. Yesu wa ye na nwa nwa juma ama huwa feyi adani huwe di ta huwa si debia ama yesu ono na wama huwa ye feyi I have been there. I have been there. When lion riders had to feed on Gary hot pepper without anything in addition on a Christmas day. You, today, you have something to buy KFC. And there will be Do you know what somebody is going through? That is the essence of Christmas. Jesus. And it is so painful. You see Christians giving to people who can give. But not giving to those who don't have. Throughout the night, all I was saying is, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 